what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? New video has emerged of what happened in the moments leading up to King Von being murdered in Atlanta last weekend. In the video, King Von can be seen exiting a vehicle with a large group of men. They approach his op, Quando Rondo. King Von walks right up to him and punches him in the face several times. At this point, some men that were with Quando Rondo exit the vehicle he was standing near and they start dumping. It is at this point where it is alleged that Quando Rondo's brother shot King Vaughn in the head as he was swinging on Quando Rondo. Now fam, it really pains me to talk about this video, right? It, 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 it pains me to talk about this incident because I know I'm going to have to talk about it again. I know this ain't the end of it, even if it's the end of this particular uh, group beef. It's going to be some more ignorance down the line. And all I'm trying to do is save some lives at this point. Now, I know you see a lot of things on the Internet, on TV, People talking tough, waving guns, getting into fights over little stuff. Fam, that might get your adrenaline to rush, but it also rush your death. We all got to die, but there are some things that you can do to rush it. One of the things that you can do to rush it is to engage in unnecessary conflict. Conflict is costly. Even when you win, you can end up taking an L. Even if it appears that you have the ups, you can go down. I'm going to tell you the truth because I love you for real. I don't have to try to prove nothing. I don't have to try to act hard, talk tough. My record speaks for itself. I've been solid since day one. So I don't have to front. A lot of these dudes are gonna to try to front because they wanna appear hard. And really they're trying to hide something. A lot of dudes that try to act tough, what they are really doing is hiding insecurities. And I can't do that because I'm not built like that. I'm totally secure in my manhood. And I can tell you this, some of the realest cats I know purposely go out of their way to avoid conflict because they know once they go there, it's on and anything could happen. Why make unnecessary enemies? Even if you can win, even if you think you can steamroll your op, why make unnecessary enemies. You're going to have enemies along the way. Whether they try to violate you or your family members, somebody you love, you're going to have enemies along the way. But why go out of your way to have enemies? King Von facilitated his early demise. And all of those dozens of guys who were behind him at any point, could have stopped him. At any point, any one of them could have said, hold up, man, this ain't for us. Hold on, man, this ain't for you. We're going to do this a little bit differently. You know what? Let us handle this. No. They let him lead the way, and he come walking. All of these dudes come walking right behind him. I hate to make this comparison, but it did remind me of Pac at the MGM when he went after Orlando. Pac, the star, the celebrity, is leading the way 
at the MGM Grand, the night of the Mike Tyson fight. And Pac is angry and he's charging toward his op. Sees him, starts swinging. And all these other dudes who's supposed to be in the front or in the back, they're behind him, letting him lead. And it's not just about celebrity, fam. It's about people, period. It's about our young men out here just throwing it away, dying in vain. It makes no sense. King Von wanted it, and he got it. Now, I'm sure he didn't go out there thinking, I'm about to get killed. No, he went out there thinking, I'm finna ride on this fool. But he was not thinking about the unseen threats. He wasn't thinking about them dudes that were sitting in that car, sitting in the truck. He didn't think that they were going to get out and start dumping. Had he thought about that, he may never have walked over there in the first place. In fact, I know he wouldn't have walked over there. You have to think about not just the threat that's in front of you. You have to think about the threats that are unknown. And once you start thinking along those lines, you will avoid a whole lot of drama. You can see it coming from a mile away. Probably wouldn't even go to that particular lounge that night, that bar. Probably wouldn't even been there. You talk about a wasted life, even the other two people that got killed. Don't know their names, but RIP to them also. Just sad, fam. Sad, uncalled for, useless. This shit make my head hurt. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?